Any place this rundown should have a hole in the wall or a broken window. Check around back. I'd go myself, but you know, not spider -Man. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Hello? Any fishermen with a grudge and a hook for a hand? Okay, where's that locked door? Jeff, you there? I'm doing my best to refrain from knock-knock jokes. Appreciate it. You see a junction box powering the door? Yeah, got it. If we can overload it, that should force the door open. Smart, but... I don't have anything that packs enough current. Try this. Stun gun, genius. Capacitors in this are just what I need for an upgrade I've been thinking of. Web for the win. A gadget man, huh? You remind me of my son. Started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. Okay. Nothing illegal in plain sight? Kinda anticlimactic, huh? At first glance. Let's look closer. Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. Bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their hidden rooms. Check it out. Sound hollow to you? Got a hidden panel, like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Let's see if my mask lenses can pick up the conduits. Thanks. No way I could have unlocked this myself. Hey, I doubt I would have found it without you. Hmm. We got a big fat nothing. Well, there's one secret room that could be more. Notice anything about the floor? Uh -huh. They can hide the doors, but not the scrapes they leave. Keep an eye out for more of those. Found a scrape. Oh, I guess normal doors don't count, huh? Good guess. Pay dirt. Scrape, no door. None I can see anyway. Great. Be right there. Maybe not. Elevator's busted. Sit tight. I'll pull you up. Second floor, rusted machine parts, big honking rats. <laughs> Careful, the bridge is out. I got this one. <laughs> nice, stuck the landing and everything. We're not all donut eaters. <laughs> Fair enough. Another secret door. I'll rig the lock. 
Let me know if you find the junction box. Yep, on it. <laughs> Found one. Nailed it. Nothing. I'm starting to feel like this is Fisk's way of messing with me. Well, look at the walls. They kept guns here. They wouldn't have moved them to the front door. Gotta be a passageway we're missing. Check out the wall. This might control access to another area. Fisk's men were talking about a vault. Maybe we're close. Bet on it. Looks like a dual circuit. See if you can find a second junction box. Right, Jeff. Trap door. Outstanding. Think you can help me out? This thing's heavy. One, two, three. Well, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone. Big chunk of concrete in the way. I can't get through. Let me see how it looks from the top. Got room to maneuver here. Hang on. What was that? Subway, maybe. Let's hustle. Place is unstable. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. No. It sounded like explosives. And that sounds like demons. The vault! Hurry! Come on, let's go! Damn, demons are already gone. How'd they beat us here? Must be a back door. See if you can find it. This place is one hell of an offering. Or was. There, they blew the locks to get in. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get them! Trucks full of gunmen in one day. It's time to hang up the webs. Drive with the yard. 
guys are all over the road. They'll kill someone if I can't stop. Doing my best to catch up, but you might be on your own. Stay safe, Jeff. Don't do anything crazy. We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the bugle put me on the city beat, which means I get to focus full time on real stories like this and the demons. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. We? Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. No comment. I don't blame you. But these guys are going to tell their story with or without you. And they thrive on controversy. What's your angle? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Up in. She's good. Man, I'm beat. Time to head home and get some sleep.
Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm trying to track down some items that were accidentally picked up from a dumpster outside my apartment. Dumpster number? Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, 64476. That's room 33. Truck's already left at shift. If your stuff's not there, you're out of luck. Wait, wait, please. This is important. Can you at least tell me where the truck is? <sighs> Let me check. All right. Looks like it should be at the municipal garage at Bowery and Grand. Got it. Thanks, Eddie. Municipal garage. Bowery and Grand. Not a problem. I don't care if I lose everything else, but I have to find my Spidey drive. Can't be that hard. Finding a tiny flash drive in a 30-ton garbage truck. I have years of research on that drive. Everything I've worked on since high school. Of course it's locked. Can't have people stealing garbage. Maybe there's another way in. It's not really breaking and entering if I don't break anything, right? Okay, no need to panic. Maybe they haven't dumped the trash yet. Nada. Ugh. Okay, time to panic. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Sorry, is there any chance the truck wasn't at the garage? Sure, I guess. Just means it'd be somewhere in West Chinatown. Great. I'm headed there now. Hey, it's a long shot. But sometimes the guys stop for pizza before they drop off. Really? I'll check out the pizza shops. Any idea which one? One of the mom and pop joints, I think. Jerry's? No, that's uptown. I mean, original Jerry's. Oh, right. No, started with an L, I think. Larry's? That's on the Wait, I think I see the trucks. Thanks, Eddie. Should be some trucks close by. Nope, stuff's not here. There has to be another truck around here. No sign of my stuff. <laughs> what an interesting smell. Eddie, you're my only hope. Not there either, huh? You sure they were around here? Well, the guys might have switched routes due to the upcoming Osborne rally. If your pickup was on Route 35, they'd be dropping off at the incinerator right now. Incinerator? Over by Manhattan Bridge. Better hustle. There's the incinerator. Hope I'm not too late. Uh-oh, looks like trouble. Thanks, Spike. You okay? Yeah, thanks. This gang's been terrorizing the whole neighborhood the last couple of days. There's probably more of them on the way. I'll keep an eye out. Hey, mind if I look around for some, uh, some personal items? Sure, have at it. I gotta go file an incident report. There's something there. Gotta move these bags out of the way. I think that's it. Be here, please be here. Yes. Hope it still works. Phew, looks like.
Looks like everything's here. Hey, look. An old gadget prototype. Looks kind of awesome. Why didn't I ever finish it? <sighs> I think I can make this work. Got it. Look, is that Kai? Spider Man. Uh oh. Ice him. Okay, well, this night isn't quite going as planned. Where am I gonna sleep? Guess I could try MJ's. Confucius Plaza. I could use some... All right, how am I gonna talk my way onto MJ's couch? Uh, hi, MJ. It's Peter. Any chance I could stay over? To oh. MJ! I was just in the neighborhood and... Oh, that's lame. Hey, MJ. Now that we're talking again, I thought maybe... Okay, that just sounds pathetic. Why am I making this such a big deal? We're just friends, right? Friends crash on each other's couches all the time. It's not weird or anything. It's just a couch. MJ's couch. Oh, what am I thinking? Hmm, just got a web alert. Looks like MJ's story just got published. I think I'll find somewhere else to stay. She's probably busy with work. I wish Harry was in town. I could crash with him. Hmm, someone left me a voicemail. Number's blocked, though. Hey there, spider. Long time no see. Miss me? Come to this address. Catch me if you can. Uh-oh. I think I know that voice. Shocker's a part of it. That roped into running jobs for the demons. These guys are serious. Do they just want to replace Fisk? That'd be bad enough. Hope it's not something worse. Ten thirty-four. Shots Hello, fired. Spider. Down. Been thinking about you a lot lately. We were good together, weren't we? Maybe it's time to reignite the flame. Black Cat. Don't tell me she's scoping out places to rob. She promised she would give up that life. What was she looking at? Anything look out of place? There. One of her 
cats. She packs those with range extenders, then harvests nearby RFID signals. I'll let Yuri know to pick it up. Felicia's too smart to be putting herself at risk like this. She must be desperate for some reason. Better keep an eye out. Hey, Yuri, you still have black... Cat's suit and equipment in the evidence lockup, right? I think so. Why? Is she back at it? Maybe. Just double check and let me know if her gear is still there. Will do. Hey, May. You're calling late. What's up? I thought we were gonna meet up for dinner tonight. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I forgot. It's been a hard day. We lost funding at the lab. Oh, Peter, I'm sorry. I also kind of got evicted from my apartment. What? Do you have a place to stay tonight? Actually, no. Not really. I hate to ask, but any chance you have room at the shelter? Of course. Feel free to use the couch in my office. Thanks, May. I believe I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. What are you doing here so late? So, I got the job. Hope May's couch is comfortable. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. Mr. Lee's okay. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this afternoon? Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still, a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then.
It's so humiliating taking money from May. I should head out into the city and try to pay it forward. Demons robbing an armored car. You can bet that money isn't going to someone's quinceanera. Another message from Doc. Peter, I don't want to jinx us, but the lead I'm following might not only get the project back on its feet, but also expand it in ways we never could have imagined. Everything happens for a reason. Even Norman pulling our plug. Really hope this works out. Doc's work is too important to go unfinished. Hey, Jeff. Congrats on the ceremony today. I'll be glad when it's over. A truck full of armed demons scares me less than public speaking. But I'm calling about something else. What's up? I just got a tip that the demons are moving on a fist construction site in Midtown. My wife would kill me if I did the ceremony prep to play cops and robbers, but I thought maybe my friendly neighborhood partner would want to know. Understood. I'll do a swing by, let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne. You know what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Nothing like an RPG to wake you up. Ju -ju -ju If you told 12-year-old me... Jeff, I'm here. What do you see? Find the rest. The boss wants them dead. 
Looks like the demons are moving in on Fisk's territory. You got this? I got this. I literally didn't see that coming. Got what you came for. You don't need to kill us, too. <clears throat> Fisk's territory is ours now. Not today. Jumpsuit. Slimming. Stay out of my business. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. Saving bad guys from other bad guys. Not how I thought today would go. Got their attention. Better swing around the outside to look for Fisk's men. Sleep it off. I should have taken him. Sure, sure. Gotta find the survivors fast. Big guy.
军声音，在调查。You okay? Men are safe. Your turn. Who runs the demons? Maybe he's there. Maybe he isn't. Check the roof. I've missed these cryptic fist talks. That just happened? Yeah. I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball? Yeah, things with the demons got complicated. Sit tight, Yuri. I got this. I know. You need to bring it down. I know. Maybe you can superhero a little faster? Working on it, Yuri. I'll call you when it's done. my chance. Fisk? Fisk is only gonna be kidding! Afraid I have to ask you to pull over the helicopter, sir! One 
send you down. Now for the second. I need to disable the helicopter's engines. Need a plan. Need a plan real fast. I guess this is the plan! You got this. You got this, you got this, you got this! Please don't screw this up! These masks are so awesome. Where do you get them? Oh, it's Solomon! Yeah. Cool, thanks. Do they have a website? Yes! Whoops. Hey, Yuri. I caught the bad guys, but... But what? You might want to bring a ladder. Yo, Miles. Hey, fanboy. I'm late. You coming? Uh, nah, I gotta get to City Hall for my dad's ceremony. All right. Tell your pops I said congrats. MJ, did they start the ceremony yet? Okay, MJ, I'm back. Did I miss the ceremony? They're still setting up. Where are you? Got hung up at work. Be there soon. at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible, demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on. There's the stage entrance, and we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. <laughs> well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> Or, maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Come on, honey.
Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so such exemplary citizens. I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, I would like, to hand like it over, to over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends. Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with the Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family, my wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I, I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer.
crazy. Right there. Can't cross yet. I was right there. Gotta help him. Now. to leave now Dad Dad Dad, 
Dad! Dad! Dad, no! Wake up, Dad. Wake up. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh... That's what you were gonna say, right? Or... It all gets easier with time. Don't worry. It's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Sorry, Jeff. I'm busy. What's up? Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy. Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey. So, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up and that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Hmm. Sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. Please proceed to Hamilton Heights. Folks, 
I have to once again defend myself against the spurious claims from McDonald Mac. Argon, a.k.a. the Scorpion. Yes, as I fully disclosed, I bankrolled the experiment that gave him superior strength, speed, and that unsightly cyborg tail. The idea was to create an anti-Spider-Man who is not a threat and stops menaces. I had no idea he was crazy. Do you think his resume said psycho with a poisoning fetish? His lawsuit is a transparent attempt to reduce his sentence at the raft by placing the blame for his deeds on me. And that is one package J. Jonah Jameson refuses. MJ's hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. I gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. Okay, that's all of them. Oh, high security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. Huh. Looks like I could override the circuit. I need my electric webs. Well, that did something. Looks like the circuits need a little more juice. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Uh-huh. Almost there. One more box should do it. Gotcha. from Fisk's armory. Truck bombs? This is crazy.
explosives from Fisk's construction site. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. And lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh, thank God. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Be careful. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. Consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. I can use that stuff I found at the recycling center. Nice. Love using bad guys' own weapons against them. And that, my friends, is what karmic justice looks like. Sleep it off.
<laughs> Literally didn't see that coming. No, He's not out here. Better check inside. Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. What else can I find around here? They have bases all around the city. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. These guys aren't kidding around. Hey, MJ, I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign office. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Ride. This sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. Off. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a... Hey! That's not how we do things! Down! Down! Code SM-1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM-1. Code SM-1. Holding for orders. Copy Code SM-1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. Entrance. Solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. A private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. It's okay. We're still best bud.
Hey, sorry about that Sable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me... Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to, uh, stay busy. It might help him, too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. Voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Hmm, some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. Oh, I see. What are you hiding, Lee? Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift?
He sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. Creepy. Whoa. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. Think of what could have happened. Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. You get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. At an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait, wait!
in the city, Grace. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named May Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait, remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? Huh. What should I cook? Another camera. Gotta be Black Cat. Are you jealous I'm visiting my other man? I hope so. But you should know, bad boys aren't my type. Why are you doing this, Felicia? No one's gonna catch you. Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news! Hey, Doc. Sorry about that. What's up? Parker! Exciting news! Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. We really need to get... Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Our first volunteer subject. Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? 
I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. But why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. I missed a call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? My bad. Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. 
Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. Low expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple cross, Doc. Please don't touch the suit. you do tough stuff another day another dozen crazy dudes in masks sent to prison like your shoes Sorry, spider emergency. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed.
cool window, but I always get the feeling something strange is going on in that place. You're not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. There might be something inside that connects this to Lee. I need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Need to get into that office. Lee finances the boss's new venture. What are they building? Is this all for Lee? Careful. You try any yet? Only samples. Boss is still perfecting the recipe, man. This guy's good. Easy does it. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? so intense about putting GPS trackers on everything. Protecting trade secrets. Doesn't want any word on Those the great dust leaking out. Important. Alc What's in these? a disappointment. And now I need a new welder.
APC. This is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an air GPS trackers? What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath. Whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking... What if we teamed up? But, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like, uh, spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait, you don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did, did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh. Where do you want me to, uh... Just... a couch is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners! Uh, sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. Ten thirty. Be advised, masked suspects are attacking an armored car. Reported location is the garment district. Over. Friends, I've just received it. Sleep it off. Hey, who's there? Hey, I'm Spider-Man. Now I can You are not. I thought I was Spider-Man. Come on, that guy's clearly the chameleon. It's 
one thing to rob an armored truck. It's another to put lives at risk. I need to stop the demons. Thanks. Another half a second, I'd have been flambéed. Police look like they could use some help. There's probably more of them inside. Somebody was in a hurry. Spider-Man! You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish, fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay, sit tight. So glad you're here. I can't find my car. Could have sworn I parked on this level. Fight! A for effort! The elevator won't work, they know I'm here. But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. Take him out, Winty! Okay, almost there. Stay out of the light.
Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out. Nap time. See that coming. All clear. Hope Standish is all right. Try this again. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information on a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! <laughs> 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 Almost got him! 
Try to fall slower! Gotcha! You okay? Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. Hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah, but I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius' lab. I'll let you know what I find on Delaney. Attention unit. A truck carrying an armed explosive is evading pursuit. Officers needed in the garment district. Easier ways to get on the five o'clock news, fellas. Guys, 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 we all love a parade, but you gotta get permit first. Here's your stuff. Demons are toast. They climbed a bomb in the truck. Gotta disable it. Phew. Just like that movie. With the bomb on the bus. What was it called? Fastness? Super quick? Nah, that wasn't it. Hey, do you have time to check something out for me? No, but if you ask nicely. Just got a call about a suspicious looking box on a rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. I could call in the bomb squad, but if it's just some kid's science project. Yeah, I know. Budget crisis, yada yada yada. So. <sighs> Will you please check it out? There's the magic word. I hope it's some kid's science project. Man, I miss those days. School projects are so much easier than real life projects. Hmm, looks military grade. Weird. Spider Man, so you found one of my recon points. Who is this? Wrong question. The correct one is can you stop the bombs I've planted? Mystery Man's got recon points spread all over the city. This computer's tracking bombs around the district, and they're about to go off. I gotta move. Gotta hurry and defuse those bombs. Ah! My web muffled it pretty well. more. 
Better hurry. Feeling pretty good about myself. Nice work with the bombs, but you leaned into your throat too much. It hurts the accuracy. Is this some kind of sick game to you? Games are for kids, and I'm and I get paid like it. Guess your client wasted their money. Sometimes information's worth more than money, and I've learned plenty watching you. MJ, what did you find out about Isaac Delaney? Check out the picture I just sent. Which one is Delaney? I don't know. I guess you'll have to go to the party to find out. Good thing I already have a costume. to call from Aunt May. Peter, I spoke to Miles' mother, and she loved the idea of him working here. Oh, the poor woman's grieving herself while trying to be strong for her son. She needs some time to just grieve, and he needs to see that life's still worth living. That was a very thoughtful... ...suggestion, Peter. The kind that would have made Ben proud. Can't let any of those bombs explode. Okay, took care of that one. Better hurry. <laughs> Wish I'd done that well in school.
Okay, need to finish listening to May's voicemail. Peter, I spoke to Miles' mother, and she loved the idea of him working here. The poor woman's grieving herself while trying to be strong. Long for her son. She needs some time to just grieve. And he needs to see that life's still worth living. That was a very thoughtful suggestion, Peter. The kind that would have made them... Proud.